um, but there was still quite a bit left that I had to take off with my cellar water. The main reason I went for them is because they've like, got these, but I think these came in like a bell box or something like that. Um, but I would not seek these out. I used the Germain de Cappuccini Purifying Mattifying Foam. This is a facial cleanser. I used this in the shower. I did not really like this very much. I love Germain de Cappuccini um, skincare, generally speaking. Um, but this was just a little too... Um, Uh, this was just a little bit too stripping for my skin, um, and so my skin was left feeling, I know some people like that feeling, but like squeaky clean feeling, I do not like that feeling at all. It feels terrible, so um, yeah, I would not seek this out. I finally finished my Natural Instincts Dark Circle Wrinkle Correction Eye Cream. This took me ages to use. I started using this sometime last year, or at the start of last year or something. It just took forever to use. But I finally used it up. I don't know that it was uh, all that great. <laughs> I don't know that it was terrible, but I don't know it was all that great. I think actually the eye gel that I'm using now is more effective at moisturizing my under eyes. Um, but yeah, at least it's used up. I used up this touch of silver brightening shampoo. This was amongst the stuff that I got from Lena uh, when I won her giveaway. Um, because, like, as you can see, my roots are quite obvious. So when I had my, um, when I haven't been to the hairdresser for a while, I tend to use a violet pigment just to make sure my hair doesn't go too brassy or anything. Um, yeah, so I have finished that one up. I finished up the NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder. It's like their white powder. Um, yeah, and that's the sifter out of it. Um, yeah, so that one is completely used up. And I'm very happy about that. That is one less powder in my collection. Pretty sure everything else is a declutter of some variety. So I have two mascaras. Um, so I have two mascaras. I have the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This is last year's Clump Crusher. Um, I finally decided that after a year of using it, I should probably just ditch it. Um, and it's you know I don't know that there's that much left in it. So, finally getting rid of that one. And the other one is the Total Tees from CoverGirl, which I used for quite a lot of last year. Um, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. It was okay. It just wasn't great. I have two um, nail polishes. One of them is this UV glow, which if you watch my swatching videos, you would have seen me use this, and it just was like a clumpy, horrible mess, and I thought, why am I keeping this? Uh, yeah, so this one was getting chucked. This I actually got from Spotlight, of all places. Um, Spotlight's like uh, Joanne's, uh, and it was in like the dress-up section or something at Halloween. Uh, yeah, it's... Like, it's literally not even moving in the container anymore. It's, like, dead. Um, and the other one is my Gumdrop Scented Parfum Nail Polish from Revlon. I do not know what happened to this. Um, I went to use it, and maybe I hadn't quite put the lid back on it properly or something. But it um, dried up. And I hadn't used that much of it. Which goes to show you how much of a nail polish is the component that evaporates over time, which allows it to dry out, um, because it like shrinks down when that goes away. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that one's going as well. Also in the nail line is this Born Pretty Liquid Latex. Um, it has, like, the problem with latex is that it goes clumpy after a time, and 
although this doesn't look too bad, it just wasn't working anymore, like the way that it's supposed to. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of it. So in the makeup line, um, I have this lip gloss, which I used a lot last year. It was on one of my projects. Um, it's just starting to look a little weird in the container. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let this one go. This is Sahara from Cargo. I'm also going to get rid of this Maybelline Fit Me in uh, concealer in 15 Fair, which used to work for me. Um, and then I found Ivory 05. Um, and now this actually dries, like this oxidizes under my eyes. So I think it's just because it's old. Um, but I've used probably more than half of it, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that anyway. Um, but yeah, time to let it go. Uh, I have this eyeliner from Artist Selection Cosmetics, which is a line that is sold by Crown. Um, this was part of my beauty kit. So it's like four years old now. Um, and it's basically just dried up. I mean, I could probably put like eye drops in it or something, but I don't want to. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really use gel eyeliner a whole lot anyway. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I have two little eyeshadow um, palettes. One's like a duo and the other one's a trio. This one is from Maybelline. This is Ivy Icon, which I used in March. Um, the pigmentation is just not there. And I can't see the point in the second side because it doesn't look any different. Um, and it was just... I just was not happy with the payoff that like when it goes on the skin like it looks fine on my finger but as soon as you try to do anything on the skin it's just it's just nothing there and it's like that no matter what you do which was really frustrating um, and though it's a baked eyeshadow but it it needs to do more than that um, and the same with this Inoxa Mineral Eyeshadow in Forest, which has a green, a brown, and a sort of like cream. It just, like, it looks pretty enough, but as soon as you try to do anything... I mean, I'm... Um, I'm actually trying here. Yeah. It's not even as good as like a highlighter, the like cream one. I'll just try and I mean considering what it looks like in like there and that's what you get. I just I don't have time. I don't have the time or the energy for that, quite frankly. Uh, I want more payoff for that. So, um, yeah, both of those are going. Which was part of the reason for my makeup baskets in the first place, was to show myself the stuff that really just doesn't work for me, so I could just get rid of it. And last, but by no means least, we have the Black Meteor Shower. This is supposed to be a shower scrub. This was actually in one of my projects. Uh, and it says, get wet, start business as per usual. Jump in the bath or shower and wash yourself with soap or body wash. Get your scrub on. Avoiding your face, grab a handful of Meteor Shower Scrub and massage onto your body in a circular motion using either a loofah or your hands. After rubbing into your body, your skin will be a light black colour due to the charcoal. Don't freak out. Hose down. Spend about a minute washing the scrub off with water to remove any black residue. Avoid using body wash after applying the scrub. You want to keep the micro minerals to make your skin, your glow stay intact. Clean up and pat down. Wash your hands, not body, thoroughly to remove essential oils and charcoal. Step out of the shower and pat yourself dry, rather than rubbing, to avoid the good stuff coming off. 
look hot and glow. Voila! Your smooth new body has been swept with a subtly shimmery, ethereal glow. Okay, so the third, the second ingredient is meteorite powder. The third ingredient is kaolin clay. And basically what happens is when you get it wet and you go and rub it on your body, you end up with this grey clay that then doesn't do what you want it to do because of the oil in it. It has soybean oil and olive oil in it. So you get an oily mess that is like a thick paste that doesn't spread across your body. You can't rub it in circular motions and cover your whole body. I literally grabbed a handful of this stuff after washing myself, went like this on my arm and could not move it any further on my body. Like it was just stuck right here. And I tried rubbing it and I tried moving it and it would not move. It was just like stuck on this one part of my body. And I was like, hmm, okay, this is not good. So I tried to rinse it off. This was not coming off. It literally just stuck on my arm. And I'm trying to gently like rub it off and it would not come off. I had to then grab my shower scrubby and scrub it off. Because that was the only way I could get this grey paste off my body, was to scrub it off. I was glowing alright. I was glowing red by the time I had finished. And I was... And I thought, maybe I did it wrong. So I tried on the other arm. And I used a little bit less. And I tried to do this... No. 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 Don't, just, just don't, just, <laughs> it, it is not worth the angst that it creates trying to use this shit. Uh, this is probably one of the worst products I've ever actually used in my entire life. Oh, uh, yeah, it was not a pleasant experience. Kind of humorous after the fact, but at the time, I was just standing in the shower like, the fuck man I'm covered in grey paste and I don't look like I'm glowing from a meteor shower I look like I have gone rolling in the mud just yeah uh, needless to say I'm not using this product again and it's going in the trash where it belongs in the words of Salty Crafter in the trash this is fucking terrible. Do not recommend. So that is it for my empties. Uh, the first empties of the year. It's only May. You know, it's only taken me five months to get around to it. Shows you how little product I've actually used up this year. Anyway, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new content. Leave me a thumbs up if you like empties videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.